Subscribe TG2. Erasure coding and RAID, redundant array of independent disks, are both storage technologies used to protect data from disk failures by providing redundancy. However, they achieve redundancy in different ways, and each has its advantages and trade-offs. Here's a brief summary of RAID. RAID uses various configurations, known as RAID levels, to provide redundancy across disks and performance improvements. Common RAID levels include RAID 1, RAID 5, and RAID 6. Here's a brief summary of Erasure Coding. Erasure Coding is an advanced form of redundancy that breaks data into fragments, adds redundancy information, parity, and distributes the fragments and parity across multiple disks. Common erasure coding methods include Read Solomon and Systematic Read Solomon. Let's compare the two. 1. Fault Tolerance. RAID. The fault tolerance in RAID depends on the RAID level. RAID 1 can tolerate the failure of one disk. RAID 5 can also tolerate the failure of one disk. And RAID 6 can tolerate two simultaneous disk failures. Erasure Coding. The fault tolerance in erasure coding depends on the specific coding scheme. For example, a read Solomon code with n data blocks and m parity blocks can tolerate up to m disk failures. 2. Storage efficiency. RAID. Mirroring. RAID 1. Has a 1 to 1 storage efficiency since each data block is mirrored. RAID 5 and RAID 6 have better storage efficiency as they use parity, but they still require more raw capacity than the usable capacity. Erasure coding. Erasure coding generally offers better storage efficiency than RAID because it can provide fault tolerance with less redundancy. 3. Rebuild time. RAID. Rebuilding a RAID array after a disk failure can take time, especially for large capacity disks. Erasure coding. Erasure coding may also have to rebuild data, but the rebuild time can be more efficient as it involves only the data and parity blocks affected by the failure. 4. Write performance. RAID. RAID 1 typically has good write performance, but RAID 5 and RAID 6 could experience a performance penalty due to parity calculations during writes. Erasure coding. Erasure coding can also introduce a write penalty due to the need to calculate and update parity information. 5. Use cases. RAID. Commonly used in traditional storage systems and arrays. Erasure coding commonly used in distributed storage systems and cloud storage where storage efficiency and fault tolerance are critical. In summary, both Erasure Coding and RAID serve the purpose of providing fault tolerance, but the choice between them depends on specific use cases, performance requirements, and storage efficiency considerations. Erasure Coding is often favored in modern distributed storage systems, especially in cloud environments, where efficiency and scalability are key considerations. RAID, on the other hand, is still widely used in traditional storage systems. Subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.